Here, here. They, yeah, and they're laughing at me too. I guess that's because it's ten dollars. It's my last ten dollars. In a way, I'm happy the video is not about this particular man speaking because I have no idea what he's saying. Instead, it's about narcissism, girl. Uh, well, who's trying to bait the cops into something she's not part of. As usual, fraud is gonna fraud it. Too much narcissism in their coffee, I think. And they fucking trying to keep my money and shit, and they took me out. They got me over here, spent my whole goddamn check twice, cleaning and washing all the dishes. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe you need to not wash your money in the dish. I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue what this man said. You don't see a man for real. I, I see know. you looking. I, I appreciate it. He's asking to talk, but I don't see Yo, it. Yo, it's not even out. That's what he got like. Uh, I, know. Uh, I know. He's asking. Uh, you might have knocked it somewhere else. Check your bag. Alright. Check your bag. Hey, Alfred. Sir. Hmm, look at that, another stop sign. Maybe it's time to stop frauditors, because this is just another useless video of a frauditor trying to make it about themselves when they are not part of the situation and then trying to ask questions that are not even applicable. And then having the entire comment section, well most of the comment section, applauding this dipshittery. Well, I do believe the official term is horseshit. If you, if you want me to, I won't publish it. What's this? A frauditor lying? Because <laughs> there is no frauditor in existence that doesn't publish shit because some random dude with a bag of clothes. I have no idea what this man is doing. Why is he standing in the middle of the road? Is that his house? See, this is also the problem with frauders. We don't know what's going on. And it's not just the fault of the man hits wordy bits that are not fitting in my bucket. See, there it goes again. Blew up. I mean, in all honesty, the title of her video is Officer Refuses to Admit the Law First Amendment Nashville, Tennessee. I, I mean, that doesn't tell us anything about the situation at hand. When they claim they're trying to educate the people. You know, it might help if you actually have like a link to a certain web page or other information, which I am actually gonna link up. Also, I'm gonna explain some shit about this. You won't hear that from a frauditor. They will just, uh, you know, go down the list of dipshittery and then just stand there as a camera zombie wobbling their camera about. Okay. Like, that I don't believe her. <laughs> she says okay. That is like the okay when you have no idea what someone's talking about. He was talking about his house or something, and that's that's the gist of it I got from that. He was pointing at the house. That that's uh, kind of a big hint, huh? Welcome, you feel me? I got one of those. But she wanted me to come in here. She said, I ain't coming in here unless he comes with me. I go in there, bro. Seven days later. She's back on in here. Come on, man, bro. Ain't nobody stupid. She said, nah, I'm not last night. That ain't right. That's what I say. Remember, that can't be to me. Can't be nothing to me. No other lies, bro. I, I'm a criminal, huh? What's this? We're in the presence of someone who knows all the laws. And what I got from this is this is actually not this house, but this is house and he's offended that that's as far as I got. And this video is starting to be about this lad. I have nothing against this lad. He can stand there all day with his bag in the middle of the road, but hey, maybe we need to listen to the frauditor doing a fraud. It. Which is coming up right now, by the way. At least it's not dead air, eh? I guess it's incomprehensible air. You have a lighter? Yes, ma'am. May I use it, please? No, ma'am. <laughs> Come on now. You wouldn't do me that way. No, nah, bro. They some police calling ass motherfuckers, bro. All I want is my ID. I mean, my old lady ain't gonna call him, but he, he got your ID back, right? Huh? I yeah, I got my ID, bro, but I need that ten dollars. For future reference, yeah, for future reference, you never have to give your ID in this state unless you're yeah, arrested. Unless you're arrested for a crime. Or during a traffic stop situation. Oh, come on, frauditor. We're trying to educate the people here. Really? You tell me the law is different. You tell me you can get my ID without an arrest. Tell me, ma'am. Tell me. Educate the public. Do I have to ID to you unless I'm arrested for a separate crime? 
Now, you'll notice the auditor is going to manipulate this entire video into the officer not answering this question. She is not part of this entire situation. They don't even have to ID themselves to her or even engage with her at all. Not to mention, she made this scenario up that the officer said, I can arrest you if you do not ID yourself. Well, that is only true during a traffic stop. Talk about putting words in someone's mouth. Frauditor. I don't know what's more annoying, the stupidity on display here in this video, or the stupidity on display in her comment section. Applauding this nonsense. I was giving it to her for her. She said she's Ma'am, you're obstructing the road. I wish you'd step back. I'm worried about officer safety. What is it with frauditors that they hear something and then we have to repeat it for some reason? You heard the officer saying, please step out of the road, sir, for your own safety. And now you turn it into... Ma'am, you're obstructing the road. I'm worried for officer safety. Well, first of all, you lot are never worried about officer safety. Second of all, they're on the side of the road. Third of all, there's a whole lot of two cruisers, police cruisers to be exact, on the road. So cars have to go around. Fourth of all, do you see any traffic? Not to mention set traffic, if there is any, would be very slow because it is a corner. And it's very easy to see everything. And fifth of all... Are you trying to insert yourself into this situation once more? Talk about narcissism. Best cops, bro. I promise you, God. She helped me out, and he helped me out. They are awesome cops, bro. I promise you, God. All right, sir. They ain't gonna buck up, shoot, buck up, shoot me black all that shit. Fuck that, bro. Ain't none of that shit going on. They're good ass people, bro. Really good ass people. They helped me out. They done what they gonna do. The cops earlier, they was assholes. These cops right here, they straight, bro. They straight. They cop, but they cop. But, uh, you know, they're pretty. Good. You know what I'm saying? No. No, I'm sorry to say, I have no idea what you're saying. Although I kind of got the gist of it that these officers are straight, bro? Or something? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. Ma'am, you want to educate the public, please? Thank you. Educate us about how you can arrest somebody for not giving ID unless they're committing a crime? Please educate the public right now. You said don't listen to me, so please let us know. Please, please. She had my ID. She gave it back to me. Uh, this isn't about you. It's not about you now. <laughs> No, no, of course it's not about this man. Even though the police basically came out for him and something happened at this house. We don't know what happened because you have absolutely... Well, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's, let's have a look at her description of her video. Oh. And can you please stop manipulating this situation into some kind of arrest? Because there's no arrest. This made-up scenario doesn't exist. Similar to how the explanation of what's going on doesn't exist. I'm fine. What am I doing? I'm just talking to him. She, she said that not to listen to me. So, I mean, the public is watching. What is she going to get my ass for? For like, I don't know. For like what? Rent? Contempt of cop? Because I don't care if her feelings are hurt. You can't hurt a cop's feelings. Calm down, lady. Don't, don't worry about it. Sad little fraud just thinking they're important. It's adorable, isn't it? Also, I love how this man is so worried about her safety now. I mean, sure, they're annoying. But officers usually just ignore these dick flutes. Where they think they are improving the world. Officers don't even notice them. Unless they make themselves part of the situation by encroaching too close on a certain traffic stop or other crime being investigated. You know, fraud it is gonna fraud it. Huh? You want to see this in I don't think she's committed a crime. No, they're good though, man. They help me out. I just lost my goddamn $10, bro. So, God dang it. 
Hey, we're going to tell those guys that I love her man, for real. What? She so, they're so good. Of course they will. Good people. Oh, they are, right? They got my shit back. I got to get up in this store, bro. Ma'am, before you go, could you clarify that law for me? Hey, don't be lazy now. You, you, you're trying to educate us, right? With your fraud thing. So why don't you look it up yourself and explain it to the people listening to your video? These officers are not obliged to play your stupid little game. It's just a power play, isn't it, for your sad little fraudsters? I can make the officer dance. Well, fuck you. They don't have to dance for you. So if you're actually interested in when you have to ID yourself, I've linked it up in the description. I ain't gonna, you know, <laughs> say it in the video because that's a little bit of boring talk. Would be more interesting than the dumbass video I'm addressing right now but hey at least the lad that was uh you know unintelligible uh was rather amusing i think i don't know what he said though ma'am do i have to give you id unless i'm arrested for a crime only during a traffic stop situation now come on don't be lazy hmm wasn't that something she didn't want to talk about it. Hmm. Well, isn't that something? You ain't as important as you think you are. <laughs> the amusing part is they actually think this is some kind of gotcha. Oh, this might be a foreign concept to you, uh, Frauditor. But officers have to do work, you know? Maybe look up the work as well. Don't be lazy now. There's an entire world wide web out there for you to pull out of context. I guess we just stumbled upon another stupidity issue. Stupid people will find stuff, misinterpret it, and then think they found gold. Welcome to the new... Age of information. Where dumbs are gonna dumb because they, well, don't know, understand how to actually interpret information. And can I get your name and badge number? Ah, I see we're dealing with another policeman connoisseur. Gotta catch them all, huh? Not a stupid soundbite from the Sovereign Citizen Fraud at the script that has no meaning whatsoever. <laughs> Employee number. You have a card? No? Thank you. Now, could you clarify the law about when you have to ID? Do you have to give ID unless you've been arrested for a crime? The cop is asking for your ID. It's a good idea to give it to him. There's my is it the law? Employee is it the law? Does anybody have to give ID unless they're arrested for a separate crime? <laughs> you know. You know how this comes across? Fraud is trying to high-five with the officers, not high-fiving. Did she leave you hanging? Oh no, what happened? Maybe maybe there's some, some way to actually gather this information. They're not obliged to play with you. You can play with your little toys across the street, but don't engage with the officers. You're not part of this entire situation. A situation we still have no idea what the hell happened. And on that rather confusing note, remember <laughs> to tickle the bell on all buttons around it. Have a look at Radical Plays when I do stuff over there. And I will see you next time. Uh, bye bye. For fuck's sake, man. Why why do frauditors even try anymore? They're, they're just uh, useless, aren't they? And that might not be a good wordy bit, but hey. Oh, for fuck's sake, it blew up again. Damn wordy bit bucket.